feel like I've crashed uh, a Hughes family party. Um, <laughs> how are you both? Really well. We're good. Mm -hmm. All good. One of us is in London and the other one's in Cardiff. I was going to say, so yeah. so is this like, is this the first time you chatted in a while or, or I'm, get, I'm guessing you're probably talking First time we've chatted today. Ah, yes. so there we are then. Well, what better to do? This is the most showbiz way of doing it, I think, uh, an Aaron. It's the only showbiz way at the moment. <laughs> yes, it is. Um, yeah. But of course, um, both I am chatting about the third series of In Boremech, which is about to debut on Esperuarek um, very, very soon. Um, for you, an Aaron, uh, being uh, an integral role in all three series, what is it like knowing that the third series is just around the corner? Well, it's very exciting. Mm -hmm. And I promise you it's going to be exciting for the audience. I mean, this is one not to be missed. Um, we started out, you know, I have to cast my mind back because we started out the end of February into March. Mm -hmm. I believe one of the crew had slight symptoms. And so um, very carefully, the producer said, like, we've got, to, we've got to stop. And that was around the 16th, 17th. And then on by the 22nd, was it 23rd of March? It was a national issue, you know. Mm -hmm. Uh, not because of us. No. <laughs> the government said, right, that's it. And we went down into that three month plus lockdown. Um, mm. Then we picked up again. And um, so and then we finished off. But a very, very different um, setup, of course, because we all had, we were all being distanced safely and we were all wearing our masks and it, we had to rearrange. The blocking of scenes so that no one was too close to anyone else yeah yeah yeah. well what was that like kind of taking a break in filming was that quite difficult to get back to was it was it hard you no know, kind of getting back into the character after having such a big break um it, it wasn't particularly hard going, getting back into the character i don't think it was particularly difficult for anybody because mm. we love those characters so much and they're so well written and yeah. they're so strong and so well-rounded and i uh, and, and I ho hope, in it, at least, that that communicates to the audience. I, I think it does. Um, they were truly believable, real, everyday characters going mm -hmm. through everyday pain uh, of relationships and and family ups and downs. As it were. Yeah. And, you know, it's quite interesting that, um, you know, Ian Boromecha, Keeping Faith, it is a family affair. Uh, and now, of course, you're working with your daughter, essentially. You know, you're working on the same production. Uh, Ella, um, what, what, what's it like knowing that your dad is one of the main stars of this, this programme and, and then you're actually doing the music? Is there a sense that, you know, it's like work, work you know, this is working with your family. I could never work with my mum or dad. It would be too much of a nightmare. <laughs> Oh, I adore working with mine. Um, it's we just have like, like such a good relationship when it mm -hmm. comes to work and not work. And Dad um, has done a lot of music in his career as well, so he can always help me and give me tips on my singing, which is really useful. Um, but yeah, no qualms. I really mm -hmm. enjoy it. And of course, each series. Um, has has the the you know essentially its own main theme. Uh, in series one, we had Faith's song. Series two, Steve's song. Whose song is it next? You'll just have to wait and see. I don't I, know. I yeah. hear that one just yet. Sam's <laughs> song. Um, and of course, um, uh, and Aaron, um, you know, we're on the third series now, the third and final story uh, uh, series of of this show. Um, will you miss it? Oh, definitely. Yes, of course. Um, but I, th I think we've come full tilt now. Mm. Um, it's a whole new chapter, if not a whole new book, is, is opening up now uh, for Faith and for all the family. Um, the dust is beginning to settle after a, a tumultuous uh, journey. Yeah. Um, we'll see that at the end of the series, but um, through the third series, uh, come join us on that roller coaster. And the reaction uh, has been like a roller coaster. You know, it's been incredible. People have adored this series in both English and Welsh. Um, Ella, why why do you think that is? Um, oh, that's a really tricky one. I think it's just because so many people can relate to it in their day to day lives. Like, mm. and I think Faith can be your older sister, your aunt, your best friend. Like, she's just somebody who you just call up to have a chinwag with. Um, so I think that's why it's just so human. 
Of course, I mentioned that this series has been very successful in both English and Welsh. Um, for you, Anarian, what is it like learning uh, those two sets of lines? Is it harder knowing that you have to, you know, once you finish the English version, you're then like, oh, got to do the Welsh one now. Um, yes, and the other way around as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we play fair. <laughs> yeah. Um, it, I, I wouldn't pretend that it's easy. It isn't. And uh, from my experience, and I only speak for myself, um, th there is a slight difference of playing it in English than there is of playing it in Welsh. You're playing to almost a, it's, it's, it's a different audience almost in, in, in Welsh. I mean, it's going to be a far more international audience in English, for, mm. for obvious. Um, but it's a fantastic challenge, and it is extremely important to do it in Welsh. Of course. Because the scenes that we do show in the hybrid version that goes out uh, around certain areas of the world uh, just tells the world that, um, hey, we're here and we have our own language, which yeah. is a functional language every day. My first language was Welsh. I didn't begin to speak English until I was about nine, ten, and then into secondary school. So, and that's true of many, many other, you know, other people as well. And I, I you know, I, I know I speak from experience in the fact that, um, I'm not a fluent Welsh speaker. Um, I did it up until A level, but I still would watch the program to almost sort of better my Welsh. Um, yeah. Do you think it helps that we've got these dramas in the Welsh language that that do help people like myself who who are you know doistim rigel? Is that right? Not yeah. not fluent. Um, yeah. uh, thank you, uh, Dioch. Um, but um, do you think it helps? <laughs> uh, do, do you think it helps that we've got these? Um, programs which help teach others? Well, absolutely. I mean, uh, from, from our point of view, it tells the world that we exist and that we have a language. Mm. And for those who want to come and learn the language, it, it, it's an opportunity for them to do so. Mm. And to see, um, I mean, hopefully, um, you know, world-class drama being performed in a top-class way, filmed in a top-class way, written in a brilliant top-class way, um, that, that can play on the world stage. Definitely. You know, and be as good as and we mentioned how, um, you know, this this is filmed in both English and Welsh. For you, Ella, we've got songs which also have to translate uh, in, in English and Welsh. Um, you know, the, the Welsh language is full of many complexities, as is the English language. So what was it like trying to turn a song um, to Welsh, which, which may have been written originally in English? Was it written originally in English or Welsh? And then you had to sort of change it. Written originally in English by Amy Watch, and then it was translated into Welsh. Hmm. Um, I think it's just as important with what dad was just saying, like giving Welsh a platform, not only on screen, but also through like huge streaming platforms like Spotify and iTunes is like really great because it gives the world accessibility to Welsh music and music in Welsh. Um, I find it just as easy to sing in Welsh as in English. It comes very second nature to me just because I'm bilingual. Um, but yeah, I hope that answers your question. <laughs> yeah. And and I suppose as a singer at the start of your career, you know, you you just released a new album. Um, I suppose you're very, very grateful to uh, Keeping Faith and Ian Boremeche for getting your work out there and, and, and showing the world what you can do. For sure. I'm super grateful. Um, TV is a great, a great way to communicate with anybody. And I think it's great to be able to sing not only in Welsh for the Welsh songs, but also on the score. Mm. So showing like different flexibilities of my voice. Um, and that then in turn meant that people were reaching out to me to work with me for different projects, which is really cool. And it's also given me the confidence to write my own music. And as you just said, I've released my second song. So I'm very grateful. It's basically like the starting point of my music journey. So yeah, super grateful. Mm -hmm. And um, just finally, um, both Anairin and Ella, um, uh, Keeping Faith, uh, Ian Boromeche has done amazingly well and it's gathered this amazing group of fans, uh, myself included. Um, if you had a message to give all the fans who've supported this show, each series uh, as we've gone along, um, firstly, Anairin, what, what would you say? Well, as far as this uh, third series is concerned, there are four new songs to uh, look forward to by Amy Watch, uh, translated into Welsh and sung by Ella. There are also some great fans of the show who are very, very well known faces who are going to join us for the third series. 
I can't reveal who they are. That's far too exciting, yeah. but uh, it'll be worthwhile. And um, I just hope you all enjoy it. I'm sure you 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 will. Mm-hmm. And and for you, Ella, any message to the fans? Um, look forward to new music, new faces, new stories, and with it going out with a big bang. <laughs> And a new jacket. That's that's what I've that's what I've been seeing on the trailers. She's gone from yellow to to blue, and now she's on red. She just can't keep up. And she can't make her mind up, can she? And Aaron, there's a coat. There's a coat to series. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, amazing. Well, um, thank you so much for having a chat with me today. Um, I wish you all the best uh, during this nightmarish time. But it might be nightmarish. But we've still got the third series of Im Bolemecher to look forward to. Thank you very much. Thanks, um, Bye. Bye.